What is an over the air update or OTA? I'm AutoVista24 journalist Tom Geggers here with your handy what is definition. Now, of all the questions we've asked and then answered in our what is series, this one might seem the most straightforward. But the automotive implications of OTAs are anything but simple. Now, you might be thinking, over the air update? Isn't that what my phone does? Well, you wouldn't be far wrong. As cars become more digitized, they're increasingly defined by software. Programs can be updated to provide new features, make improvements, and correct bugs. But how exactly does this work? The car maker controls the device management system that issues the new software. This is uploaded onto a cloud-based server and sent to vehicles via a cellular or Wi-Fi connection. The car then downloads and installs the update and can send back diagnostic information. Now, depending upon the manufacturer, updates like these can be done in a few minutes or over the course of a night. It is likely the car needs to be parked and turned off. And if it's electric, some OEMs would prefer the vehicle to be plugged in and with a good amount of charge in the battery. So what can be updated via OTA? Broadly, updates will fall within two categories, drive control and infotainment. For example, autonomous capabilities and greater powertrain efficiency would be considered drive control. Meanwhile, map updates and fresh applications would fall under the infotainment system. So how does all of this affect the car as we know it? Firstly, it means fewer trips to the dealerships. Updates that were once done manually can now be completed automatically. In September 2021, Renault said the new technology means that up to 90% of vehicles will have up-to-date software. That's compared to almost 60% through dealerships. Secondly, cars no longer need to be constrained by their hardware. They have the potential to just keep on getting better with time. So far, the vast majority of these updates have been free. Car makers are just keen to show off what OTA can achieve. Some have even scheduled regular updates to keep the vehicles up to date after they roll out of the factory. For example, VW's ID range is due to receive updates every three months. But not all OTA packages are free. For example, Tesla owners can purchase different levels of its autonomous program, Autopilot. This is possible because the models are fitted with the necessary hardware as standard. Monetization of software services does open up a new world of earning potential for car makers. Features or functions on demand could be downloaded and rented as needed. OTA updates and features could therefore change what a vehicle is capable of, making it more fluid and user-defined. We are going to cover functions on demand in a future installment of our What Is series. So make sure you give us a like and subscribe to ensure you don't miss out. And are there any other automotive terms you'd like us to define? Then go ahead and leave us a message in the comments below. We'll catch you next time.